and let's go with this okay perfect what is up fellas this is the king hunter with another episode of clash royale i'm waiting for you fellas to let me know which games should we play in the channel i have been playing two games at the side i'm gonna bring those very soon to the channel but uh, should we continue with slug terra should we add something new please let me know in the commentary section down below in the meantime clash royale is the game that i have never ever stopped playing I mean, sometimes I take a pause for almost a year or two, but I, I always come back to Clash Royale and Brawl Star. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you a deck that I've been using, especially because we have this special Goblin event. So Goblin cards are getting boosted, and this is the one that I'm using. Goblin Barrel, which is one of my favorite cards. The Goblin Hot. Mm, I haven't upgraded this one in a while, but now, since, since I come out with this deck, it's been super effective. I like it. I like it. It's a really good combination with the Golden Knight. We got Sap, the Furnace. Furnace only level 11. We got the Mega Knight, Golden Knight, Dark Goblin. That's one of my favorite cards, like an all-time Dark Goblin. And also the Goblin Gang. Okay, let's go into a battle. Uh, Fantasma. Nice name. Okay, so we're going to start harassing our opponent until we can have a building in position. We're gonna go this and then we take care of that with the sap. Let's continue doing damage in the top part of the map. We're gonna use the gold knight. We'll receive some damage but again that's exactly what we're looking trying to get this gold knight in position. And in the meantime, we got the Golden Barrel doing some extra damage in the other side. Okay, so things are looking fine so far. Perfect. So the Mega Knight a little bit. Now the Dark Goblin will be a good addition in this position. We can take care of the, the little skeletons. And that will do it. Oh, that's nice cold, man. I think we're still gonna be able to do some damage with the goblins. Dark goblin, and that tower is down, man. That tower is down. Excellent. So far, everything is looking fine. I'm gonna start putting some pressure on the left side with the goblins. Uh, the dark goblin's gonna bother me for a little bit. I'm gonna let that damage pass for now. And to build some momentum with the units that we have and in the next one we're going with the gold knight gold knight is going to help me here we got the dark goblin dark goblin is going to take care of that and to again build a group of units that will allow me to start putting some extra pressure Snowball, man. That's a good one. Again, the, the idea of the deck is to be as annoying as possible. We're gonna continue putting pressure in the right side. Now we have this in position. As soon as this land, we're gonna need to use sap. Okay. It's okay, we're receiving damage over there, but at the other in the other hand we got this. And the control on the left side, doing some good damage. Perfect. I like in this. Only 12 more seconds to go, but the amount of goblins is just too much for my opponent. I think he's gonna be able to do much. Three more seconds to go, just in case we put the Mega Knight in the middle. And victory! It's ours! So the whole key of the deck is to overwhelm your opponent with the, the buildings. That's why it's a good idea to get those going as soon as possible. Now that we have this, uh, 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 I'm wondering if it's a good idea to, eh, maybe it's not a bad idea. I'm gonna try to bring that down. So you can have something to hit against the
to put something against the, the barrel. Let's see if we can do some damage against that Valkyrie. The Gold Knight, it didn't do much in terms of damage, but uh, again, it's just trying to bother our opponent as much as possible now that my opponent has um, Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're gonna be, make sure that we don't put our buildings together or things are gonna be so, so, so difficult. Alright, so let's see if we can put something in the back. Let's put a barrel there. Okay, barbarian barrel. Good. Interesting. I will probably save for a little bit. Right now I'm not in rush, in rush at all. Okay, we can deploy our Mega Knight. I'm waiting for my opponent to put the... Excellent. That's good. And in the meantime, let's deploy some Goblins too. Do some damage to Baby 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 Dragon. And that tower should be going down in a few seconds. Excellent. Alright, so now uh, either our opponent already surrender, which it looks like it is the case. There you go. Victory, it's ours. Alright, let's go for another battle because the previous one didn't count. My opponent quit right at the beginning after destroying the first tower, so let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. Now that my opponent has Fireball, it's a good idea to now start deploying the, the Goblin Hut. We can deploy the Mega Knight now to make sure that my Goblins are gonna stay alive. Mini Pekka. Really good mini picker. He did a lot of damage, man. That was crazy. And the Dark Goblin is just a monster, man. <laughs> it's just a monster. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do in here. I'm trying to make sure that my opponents start wasting the fireball. Uh, probably against the Goblin Barrel. I'm not really sure if he has. I don't think he has any, anything else to. Oh, okay, the other log. Perfect. I'm gonna put this golden hut in this corner. Uh, we should be able to take care of business. That cannon is going down. As soon as the cannon goes down, we're gonna start preparing the next attack with the gold knight. Um, let's go with this. Okay, perfect. That is exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna continue putting pressure with the rest of the buildings. The rest of the little goblins. Golden Eye is super effective, especially against this uh, group of enemies like uh, skeletons or goblins and small units like the prince. Uh, the princess, sorry. Because, of course, that is giving us a good advantage by punching all those little units in one go. So, well, apparently this battle is over. And that's it. Victory! It's ours! So, we are climbing quite fast in the ranking with this deck. That is the whole idea. Simple, annoying, what else? <laughs> that's what we're looking for, right? Okay, we got the goblins, we got arrows on the other side tesla tower good to know i should probably wait for the tesla tower to go down before deploying anything else okay interesting here comes the wizard wizard is a pain against this these units this of course is too all right so i guess some pressure in here, Gold Knight. Gold Knight didn't have a chance to, to do much in there. Okay, Dark Goblin. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, we received tons of damage, but at least we are 
still one piece. Uh huh. Yeah, right, this battle is gonna be super interesting. Let's see how we're gonna come back from this one. Have a little furnace. Okay, we can probably put the goblin hot as soon as we can. Maybe we should wait for the for the double elixir. Why you use the arrows against the building? I know it's annoying, but uh, I'm sure that wasn't the best time to use it. You know that I have this. Uh, I need to put something in here. Let's see if we can protect ourselves against the mini Pekka. All right. So far, so good. And here comes the dual double elixir. that you're gonna be putting that Tesla tower there. See if we can build some some forces on this side. Uh, you know what? What I would love to do is to put the goblin barrel right on top of the wizard. Okay. Perfect, that's good. That is good, that is good, that is good. Alright, that wizard is a pain. Gonna do tons of damage, but let's see if we can land one of these uh, goblin barrels in the back. Okay, arrows are out. Continue adding pressure with the different buildings. Mega Knight is gonna show up at any second. Alright. See if we can. There you go, let's try to protect our goblins. And now here we go. We'll start putting some pressure here. Okay. Come on, come on, golden knight. There you go. That's what we need to do. And that one, um, game over. Good battle, my friend. Well played. So simple as that, this deck is quite, quite, quite effective. I strongly recommend to give it a try, especially because I was trying to find a, a good deck for the Golden Knight. And I think creating these big groups of uh, units, uh, adding so many goblins, uh, usually they get encountered by, by small enemies, for example, bazookas, princesses, uh, the princess, is they're super annoying against this kind of unit, but if we have the Golden Knight that can charge against the opponent, oof, we can definitely do some decent, awful damage. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Let me know what do you think about this deck and also share with me which deck are you using right now to rank in Clash Royale. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.